Hey everybody, Junk Man here. How's everybody doing today? Got a little story for you guys this week. Uh, earlier in the week, I went to go shopping for Mrs. Junk Man. You know, it's Valentine's Day. Everybody, Valentine's Day, don't forget your girlfriends, don't forget your wives, your boyfriends, and mom. Everybody forgets mom. Don't forget mom on Valentine's Day. If she's still here, call her, tell her you love her. If she's not, say a prayer, tell her you miss her. So anyway, I come out of the store to get my wife something, and I'm waiting for little junk man who's in another store getting mom a present. And as I'm standing, I realize there's a Porsche GT2 parked there, one of my favorite cars. Beautiful car. I'm sitting there looking at the car, waiting for my son. With that, the guy comes out, opens the door, puts some bags, you know, puts his bags in the car, and the kid comes walking. Maybe not a kid, he was like 18, 20 years old. And he looks at the guy and he goes, man, that car's fire! And the guy looked at him like, Blew him off, didn't say a word, and the kid looked at me like, what the hell? And I was like, don't worry about it. Just some asshole with a lot of money, probably doesn't even know what he's driving. With that, the guy heard asshole. He got up and turned around and looked at me. I think he realized how big I was, and he thought it was better off just to leave, which is what he did. But then it made me think of a story. This happens all the time, guys. I know it. You go to a car show, you're talking to people about their cars. They blow you off. They think you're young. You think you're stupid. They treat you like an asshole. Well, here's story time with Uncle Junk Man, Revenge of the Asshole. It's like 1991, 1992, I'm about 22 years old or 21, in, in that range. And uh, my cousin Danny, my cousin Danny's like my older brother, he's 12 years older than me. He was craving to buy a Shelby Mustang. He just had to have a Shelby Mustang and he was ready to buy it. So we went to the cruise auction in Auburn, Indiana, uh, which is a whole weekend long collect the car show and auction. And we were gonna look for his Shelby. We got there, I think it was Friday morning, we got our business passes, we registered, drove around, looked at a lot of cars. Most of the cars you wanted were on the auction on Saturday going off. So Saturday comes, and I'm standing there, and I'm watching the, the cars going off, you know, each car comes, and Greta Garbo's Duesenberg came up. Now folks, or kids, I know some of you are saying, who the hell's Greta Garbo? Greta Garbo was an actress in like the 20s and 30s, Think of like Beyonce, Madonna, J-Lo. She was that big, she was that popular. And then some of you are saying, what the hell's a Duesenberg? Well, Duesenberg's an old coachwork car, all handcrafted, really beautiful, great craftsmanship. As a matter of fact, for all you young guys out there that want to make be fabricators or interested in fabricating things, take a look. See if you find a car show at Duesenberg's or go online, take a look. I know it might not be your kind of car, but the craftsmanship is amazing right down to the engine, the polished bolts. You'll see things that you can put on your, work on your Honda, put to your BMW, just do different things. Anyhow, the Duesenberg's going off, it's a really beautiful car. Next to me, there's a guy, maybe his mid forties, a little older, had his girlfriend or a wife with him. She was maybe like a day older than me, so it was his trophy. So we're sitting there and we're watching the car go off and we kind of locked eyes and I said, Man, that's a beautiful car. And the guy kind of gives me a look, looks at his girl, looks back at me and says, well, if you like it so much, why don't you buy it? This asshole, can you believe he just said that to me? I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck did he just say? And he looked at his girl, kind of had a little chuckle and looked back at me. Now guys, I'm like 21, 22, like I said. I'm from New York. I'm thinking about getting medieval on his ass. I'm like, I'm really angry. Then I said, nah, I got a better revenge for this asshole. The car, I think, was at a million nine or a million nine five at that point. So I looked at him, he looked at me, and I said, you know what? It is so nice. I think I'm going to buy this car. I bid $2 million on it. You have to see the look on their face. He looked at me, she looked at me, he looked at her, she looked at me again. They were like shocked. Like, who's this young kid in jeans and a t shirt bidding $2 million on a car? Now it gets better because, you know, when you go to these auctions, they have guys who run around, the runners in the show. The guy comes over, looks at my bidding pass, and realizes that I'm a registered bidder, and gives the okay sign that I can keep, that they're accepting my bid to keep going. Now they're really shitting themselves because they're like, oh my God, what's going on? And the best part is now the girl's looking at me smiling, going, if this 20 year old has got that kind of money, what am I doing with this old fuck? Now the bidding goes up, it's at 2 million one, so they're riding me, they're riding me, they're riding me. You know, the guys, they, they try to get more bids out of you. So I gave them the half bid. So now that means I bid 2.15 for the car. Oh, 
Oh, they yell. They got the bid, 2.15. Now they're really looking at him. Now they think, oh, this guy's for real. He Not only did he bid once, but he bid a second time. And I got the bid his pass and everything was good. Well, the car went to 2.2. I let it go. But at this point, they're looking at me like, wow. But now I know somebody's just saying, holy moly. Junk man at 22 years old had $2 million. I didn't have $2 million. But what I did have was $2 million worth of balls. What they didn't know, and what you don't know, and I'm going to tell you now, is that my cousin and I met the owner of this car the day before. Really nice guy. Uh, I think he was from Texas or something like that. And he told us, uh, you know, what he was looking to get. And he was very adamant at the fact that he didn't want to take a penny under $3 million. I kind of knew this. So you see how information works? So I knew bidding was going to be safe because he wanted $3 million. But they didn't know that. You know that now. Uh, thank God I didn't get the car 2.15 because I didn't have it. However, the rest of the weekend, I bumped into this couple a couple other times. And boy, he didn't want to look at me, but she was smiling the whole time. So guys, don't judge the person next to you. You never know who it is. You never know who's standing next to you. Don't know what they have or what they don't have. And if you want to know, my cousin did get a Shelby that weekend. He bought a 67 Seafoam Green with white rally stripes, GT350, small block four speed with inboard lights. He loved that car. Hope you enjoyed the story, folks. See you later.